Hello geeks and welcome back to episode 2 of my playthrough of Bloodborne. Um, like I said in the first video, this was the game that got me into the Souls-like. I love the atmosphere, the art style, and the combat. Um, we went through and beat the Cleric Beast and found the Hunter's Garb and got some leveled up. Now we're going to continue exploring Central Yarnum, find some other NPCs, and do some side quests. So hang out with me and enjoy the ride. So we're going to pick up right where we left off here at the um, Hunter's Dream. And we're not going to go back to the Great Bridge. Um, we're actually going to head back to Central... Mm, I lied. We're actually going to go back to the Central Bridge because it's a little bit more of a straight shot. I have to run through less enemies in the long run. Um, so, Bloodstone Shards, Cold Blood. You're going to find those mostly off humans throughout the game. Uh, these Bloodstones are enabled with weapons to fortify. So, this is where we beat the Cleric Beast. We're going to run through here. We got... Um, you can see three birds... And a rock troll here. They can rock your shit if you get caught in them. So for now, we're just going to kind of run past them. They are beastly. We have a guy that's going to pop out of the side like a dandelion. We got some werewolves. I want to run past them if I can. Um, we're going to just run, 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 run down the stairs here. We're going to run past these guys. Well, actually, we can just hit them. Ah! Um, I fucked up. Less enemies, but tougher. Blood of Adela. None of the healing church. Gradually restores HP. Okay, so we are going to start on the bridge at in central Yarnum. And from here, we're going to go to the bridge about halfway down. Um, you can take out these birds and the rock troll that is just hanging out here. They're not too terribly difficult, especially now that we got some levels. You're backing away. That's good. Let me get on these birds. Should be about two hits each. We're going to roll away from you. Um, okay. He's going to triple attack. We're going to just beat the ever-living tar out of him. Okay, he's down. Now we're going to take out this bird. And birds really only drop pebbles. We got some shiny coins. And from here... We're going to take this guy out. We got my echoes because somehow he killed me before. And so we're going to take a right just directly off this bridge about halfway down. And we're going to get into this building here. And from here, we're going to see this guy right off the bat on the left-hand side, just hiding in the shadows. Don't let him get the best of you and jump you. Uh, and then we're going to pick up the shiny. We got another cold blood dew. Got this guy hiding by barrels. He tried to sneak up on me. And then we're going to go down these stairs. So down these stairs, you're going to see a couple more. Um, it's going to be a guy right there. And there's going to be a guy in a wheelchair. Uh, I do take the guy out in the wheelchair just because he does have a gun and he can get some pretty vicious on you. Um, we got some quick bullets. We're going to search this body, which has a pungent blood cocktail, which is going to be useful in the next area. Um, we're going to inspect the Shining. When the hunt began, the Healing Church left us, blocking the Great Bridge uh, to Cathedral Roll. Blah. When the hunt began, the Healing Church left us, blocking the Great Bridge to Cathedral, War, Cathedral Ward as Old Yarnum burned to the ground that moonlit night. So it sounds like this has been going longer on longer than um, let on to be. Uh, and then we got this closed door. We're going to go ahead and open that door. And we have now opened up a shortcut. Um, you see an empty wheelchair there. We're going to go up these stairs and this guy's going to run down and greet us. Hello. Um, up these stairs and directly to the left, you're going to find a blown bloodstone shard. And we're going to loop around and we're going to go up these stairs. Uh, and from here, we're going to go ahead and be able to open up this gate, which is going to be directly by the um, central Yarnum lamp. So, now that we have that shortcut, we're going to just go down this way. We're going to pick up that blood vial that this guy dropped. If we go down here, we're going to have two of these big guys. Um, this is a great opportunity to practice our visceral. So, we're going to wait till he's mid-attack, right? We're going to shoot, and we're going to visceral attack. And then we're going to roll, shoot, 
visceral attack. These guys are great to practice on. Um, not that I'm perfect by any means. When I first started playing these games, I could not visceral to save my life. So I spent some time and just really practiced on these guys. They have big hitboxes um, and, you know, kind of slower reaction times. A lot, lot better to learn on than the smaller, quicker enemies that you encounter later on. Um, once you get past these two, you can either go straight. Um, we have not opened up that shortcut yet. So we want to take the right-hand side stairs going up. From here, you're going to see a little alleyway that's going to take us uh, to a door on one side, which is just going to be kind of a cut through um, through the house that we just opened. So we can bypass those big guys if it's something you don't want to deal with. Uh, we can go up these stairs, down this alley. We go up these stairs here. We're going to see a big old dead end. Something done did, uh, destroyed it. Cold dew blood. We're going to go back down. And we are going to take a right. From here, we're going to kind of hit Stray Dog Alley. We got some dogs in cages. You can hit them because these cages do unlock at some point in time. And the last thing you want to do is get bombarded with random stray dogs that you didn't know were coming out. See? Busted right out. Two hits. He's down. One hit in the cage. He's down. Same thing with you. Sorry, buddy. We go to the back here. We got another one. So you got three in cages, one that's going to burst out, so four in total. Um, from here, we're going to go this way. We're going to have one. We're not going to be able to sneak up on him, but we can still get him before he gets us. We can pick up the cold blue three off the body here. Nothing in the cages here. So we're going to go back down that alley. We're going to then take a left across this bridge. You're going to see a dog barking at a door with a red lantern. We're going to kill that dog, and we're going to talk to the lady. Do you know of any safe places? Um, as not of yet. So, remember that location, we're going to have to come back. So from here, um, you're going to see a whole bunch of uh, barrels. We're going to... Legend of Zelda it. If you know, you know. We're just going to roll and we're going to break everything. Okay, so from here, you're going to see this little window that's been broken. We're going to gently drop down and roll into these because I just like breaking shit apparently um, we're going to keep rolling and around the corner by the first beam you're going to see a door we're going to take that door and we are going to cross up into here and we're going to find another hunter we're going to talk oh a hunter are you and an outsider what a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here. To welcome the new hunter. A uh, bold hunter's mark. Four of them. Prepare yourself for the worst. There are no humans left. They're all flesh-hungry beasts now. We're going to talk to her a couple Still of times. What's wrong? A hunter unnerved by a few beasts. No matter. Without fear in our hearts, we're little different from the beasts themselves. We got a shake off cape. What are you still doing here? Enough trembling in your boots. A hunter must hunt. A hunter must hunt. Um, so this is Elaine. We can uh, do a little bit of a quest for her later on. Still doing here? Um, once we get the trembling, she is going to be done. Uh, the trembling cloak. I do believe it is a motion. So we're going to just go across here. Um, we're going to cut that body down. It's going to drop. So we're going to pick up the goodies off of it. We're going to grab the cold dew that is across the way. And we're going to go down the other way. Same thing with this. We're going to gently walk on the pillar. We're going to cut. Oh, and I missed. <gasps> No! We fell. Don't worry. We can adapt. We got a rat. Oh, we got a shooter. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta run. We gotta run. Okay, what do we got going on here? Madman's knowledge down in over here. 
I didn't want to pick it up just yet, but here we are. That's okay. Um, we're going to pick up another throwing knife by the boats here. Keep going. You're going to hear gunshots because they're going to be trying to shoot you. Where's... Oh, God. Okay. Haha. Uh -huh. You can't get me. What'd you drop? Ooh, more blood vials. I like that. Okay. We're going to take this bad boy and we are going to scale it up, 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 up. Try not to get shot. That is the only way up there. So, we're going to go back inside the building that I originally came in from. We're going to take out that shooter directly through the door. Because I'm going to go back up to where that body was because I would like to cut it down. Um, but let's just get all these guys taken care of because they're just small little annoyances more than anything. Got one coming down the stairs. He heard the commotion. What you want? We got a big heavy attack. Just wanted to see what kind of damage it did. You're down. And what about you? We're going to roll away because I don't want to get hit by you. Okay. Hmm. Blood vials. Don't mind if I do. Cold dew off the body that is to the left here. Or sorry, to the right. Um, and work our way across. We're going to pick up what this guy dropped. Okay. Another couple of blood vials. So once we hit 20, they're all going to go into our stash. Um, that is kept at the Hunter's Dream. The essentials, such as the blood vials and the bullets, will refill um, every time we die. Um, but some things that you have to go manually refill, like the uh, Molotov cocktails and the urns, because you can buy them or find them as you go. No! I did it again! Now we know the way. Oh, I didn't get you. I forgot about you. Whoops, the daisies. Okay, bullet good. Go back up the stairs. Bob and weave, bob and weave. Um, another drop down. Do, 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 do. Take that left. There we go. <gasps> oh. So we're going to drop down with it, apparently. Um, search the body. I got the saw spear. Don't really use it, but I like, I'm a weapons collector in games. I'll never sell it, but and I'll never use it. I just like to have it. Uh, so from there, we're going to take out this bad boy. Like I said, not hard. They're just more of a nuisance. Um, so these are specific types of areas that we do have to drop into. And... Send the ladder once again. Apparently getting shot. We should just go take out that shooter guy. You would think... Ah, see, three times in a row. That's my limit. Oh, we got two of them. I was wondering how you were reloading so fast. Both you guys down for the count. Did you drop anything good? Probably some more bullets. Quick bullets. Perfect. We got those. We're going to pick this up. We got cold dew. Quick silver bullets. We're going to wreck it.
so killed the birds we got a oil urn times two by those guys we can roll past that uh dead end here so then we're just gonna work our way back back Okay. Uh, now we gotta work on dropping down. Okay, here. Perfect. Before we loot and scoot, we gotta take these bad boys out. Okay, perfect. We wanna search body. So this is a cold stone shard. Two of them. Okay, that's annoying. I hate that. Okay, so we've pretty much cleaned out this area. Uh, we've talked to Elaine. We've gotten the two bodies dropped. We picked up what they needed. So, and we killed the two shooters and looped around this area. So we're going to drop back down here into that sewerway tunnel. And you can see here we're back into the stretch. We're not going to go up the ladder this time. We are actually going to work our way down. And you're going to see kind of a drop off here where you want to pick this up from a pebble on one of the birds that I slaughtered. Um, and up there... That is where we got our hunter's garb. This is just simply a the next area that you can drop down from. I didn't want to take that kind of damage. So we're just going to descend down the ladder here. Mind you, when you do, you're going to get quite a few of these undead things. So just start whacking them. They're, they're, they're slow. They hurt when they do do hit, but easily avoidable. We're going to throw a Molotov cocktail at them because I like damage, especially group damage. Makes my life easier. See what I mean by that stamina? The sooner you can get that raised, the better. Um, and here we go there. Perfect. Search corpse blood vial. And... We are going to kill these guys. Be mindful of the birds that are up top there that I accidentally toggled because they will jump down and start making things extremely difficult for you for no good reason. Outside of it's a Souls game. Um, don't know why I threw that. Uh, nothing down here uh, to note. Okay. Can I? Go oh, bird. Come on, birdie, 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 birdie. There you are. Okay. So, from down here, we've got some stairs. We're going to take the stairs. Nothing down here. We're going to have a little water reaper thing. I don't even know what they're called. Honestly, it's more of an annoyance. Um, going to go down here. There's going to be one right down this alleyway. Let me show you where that is again in conjunction with the stairs. So when you come down the stairs, you're going to go a little ways down. Right before you hit the group of three, you're going to take this alley down here. You're going to have one, and then you're going to have a bloodstone shard on the body right there. From here, you're going to whack the fuck this guy. So you're out of stamina. You're going to roll back because they do got a little grab game. We're going to hit uh, as much as I can. Let that stamina refill. Okay. One last grab. Okay. All three of them are down. We have nothing to the left or the right of us. So, you see that guy in there? He's a lot scarier than he looks, but I promise he's not bad. We're not going to take that ladder just as yet. Um, we're going to kind of lure this guy in. Because, uh, thankfully, he's not too terribly difficult. He's just big. We're going to get behind him, and we're going to just... Oh, apparently not. Oh, he belly slams. Let's see if we can get a visceral attack on him. There we go. We can walk up. Oh, shoot. We're going to just hit him. He's actually going to drop a good chunk for the start of the game, about 430. I got the Saw Hunter badge. So after defeating the pig in the first little chamber area... Um, you're going to pick up a Saw Hunter's badge right off this corpse to your right. The top left corner corpse is going to drop to Cold Blood Dew. 
And then the corpse closest to the uh, way going straight is going to have four blood vials. I think that's where we drop the pig. So from here, we're going to continue going straight. About halfway down, you're going to see a door to your left. We're going to follow that down. And from here, you're going to see a ladder. This ladder is going to take us directly up by the bridge where we're going to go fight Papa Gascon. Um, I call him Papa Guac because I couldn't say his name for the longest time. Uh, drop down there, you will die. So we're, let's head right on up here, shall we? The nice thing about this ladder is you're going to kind of shortcut a lot of little guys um, and we can get a, um, a troll to release a boulder. So free blood echoes. Why not, right? See, there he goes. He's going to light that boulder on fire, causing damage to himself. So only I got to hit him that one time. And this area cleared, all just from coming up this little ladder here. Uh, I like to just do a quick run through, make sure everything looks good. Because, you know, towards the end there, they are going to drop some things. So we're just going to sprint down this gate, or this bridge. You can see it took out one, two, three, four, five peons, which is nice. And once you're directly down the stairs, you're going to see another ladder that's going to take us down to the sewer area. Um, you can see those stairs that led us right to that group of three little uh, water people. I don't, I don't know what to call them. Um, but directly to your left, you're going to see a platform. Let's go ahead and get this opened. And this is going to take us to that area where we killed those two rock trolls that are closest to um, the central Yarnum uh, lamppost. So we open this back up. We're going to run through here. These guys are going to be back. No, no, they're not. I thought I died. Apparently, no, that, no, that was the first time. Uh, go back up these stairs. And here we are, right back at the lamp post. So, we're going to return to the Hunter's Dream because I want to do some upgrades real fast. Okay, so, now that we're back into the Hunter's Dream, I'm just going to level up real quick. Um, I think I got enough for a couple of levels. I think uh channel some blood echoes let's channel our strength um so from here i'm gonna put it into endurance and vitality we're gonna spend the majority of our echoes we've got two levels out of that not a bad gig Farewell, good hunter. okay so now that we are leveled up we want to go and uh, use this workbench. So this is going to allow us to fortify our weapons and repair our weapons. Um, we're going to use our bloodstones for this. So, Saw Cleaver, I'm rocking that. I'm really enjoying it. So I'm going to go ahead and level it up. Um, we should be able to... I don't have enough blood echoes, which is okay. Um, so make sure all our weapons are in good repair because they could potentially break or cause less damage. So with that, um, let's go back to Central Yarnum. So from here, I'm going to take this left shortcut, because before we go and fight uh, Papa Gascon, Papa Guac, whatever you want to call him, um, we're going to go grab a little trinket that's going to help us fight. So instead of, uh, actually, we're just going to run past these guys. We're going to practice our visual attacks. Okay, lure this guy towards you. Watch if he's moved slow. Shoot. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. That's okay. We're going to get a hit in. Same thing for this guy. We're going to let him, and then we're going to shoot. Shoot. Oh, well, apparently not. We're going to heal. See, this, this is why these guys are good practice. Shoot. Visceral. We're going to grab our blood vials that we use. Blood vials that we use. Okay. And we're going to take the shortcut that we just opened up. So we are going to take our little hand dandy elevator. And we are going to go down. You're going to go Cool looking hat. I don't know why I just really like that hat. Um, so here you saw the ladder. We're gonna actually go down this ladder here. We're gonna descend. We're gonna go wee all the way home. Um, we can fight that pig again, but we don't have to. We are actually going to run past all of these guys uh, at this time because I'm not too concerned with them. 
They're not giving us a lot of echoes. So let's climb that. Thankfully, none of these guys... Mm, what's actually down here? Did we go investigate down here? We did. There's nothing. Of course. Easily sidetracked. Sorry, guys. Uh, also, something else I forgot to mention in the first video. You can also... And I'll make sure to put it in the notes uh, as well. If you cannot kill the cleric beast, that is a okay. Um, you can also level up. By leveling up, you just need some insights. So, um, from here, oh, that is not what I wanted. Why did I do this? Hmm. I'm gonna kill you. Ugh. These guys are nuisance. Okay, you're dead. And we're gonna kill you. And we're gonna kill you. Okay, we're gonna heal since we got plenty of blood vials. Okay, descend this ladder. Climb this ladder. Bloodborne in their long ladders, am I right? Okay, so once we get to the top here, uh, you're going to look to your right and you're going to see some crows. We're going to take those crows out. Uh, there should be four in total. And we're going to grab this mad madman's knowledge. So this madman's knowledge you can actually use right off the bat and will gain insight. Insight is how you perceive things throughout the world as we talked a little bit. Also, as soon as you have one insight, you can level up within mad uh, within the hunter's dream. So from there, uh, you, you can level up before you fight the cleric beast. I did not do that because apparently I like to play this game the hardest possible way. Um, that's the way we came. So we would just want to go up this... Uh, Cross this bridge here and we're gonna fight this rock troll we're gonna do our visceral thing with his sh statue rock thing shoot oh i was not fast enough and we're gonna visceral like i said these guys are wonderful practice big slow hitboxes um and they drop blood vials so if you take a hit it's not the end of the world um so from here there's no red lantern no red lantern so we're gonna go up this ladder that is to the right hand side of the far end of this little plateau area. We're gonna climb it up and we are gonna see that it leads to a gate with a red lantern. We're gonna talk to this little girl. See a you? I don't know your voice, but I know that smell. Are you a hunter? Can you take it to look for my mom? I think it's coming back from the hunt and she wanted to find him, but now she's gone too. I'm all alone. I'm scared. Find the girl's mother. The red jeweled brooch. It's so big and, and beautiful. You won't miss it. Oh, I mustn't forget. If you find my mom, check out this music box. We got the tiny music box. It plays one of Daddy's favorite songs. And when Daddy forgets us, we play it for him so he remembers. Mom says Daddy can run off without it. Okay, so we want to equip that because that is going to be handy for our next boss fight. My mom wears a so Won't miss it. Give her the misery box. Okay, so from there we want to open up this big large door. And we're going to be back into central Yarnum area. Ugh, the door's open so slow. From here, we're going to be at the water fountain again. And we're just going to kill these birds for good measure. The little things in this game that'll kill you the most, honestly. And then we got another rock troll. We're gonna hit it, get its attention, shoot, and a miss. So we're gonna heal real fast. Oh. Eh, he's not wanting to go slow. 
We're gonna visceral. And boom. I am gonna heal though. Uh, we can get our normal two vials of blood right off of him like so. Yeah, we got him. So from here, we're going to take a left. You remember the cackling ladies? Uh, we're just going to roll through because down here, it's going to take us directly into the doggone alley. We're going to have the dog that's going to bust out of the cage like it did. Bye-bye, cage dogs. Okay. So we don't need to go any further. We've already talked to Elaine and kind of cleared off that other area. We have that tiny music box. So now we can just head straight over to Papa Guac. Papa Gascon? Basque Gascon? If that's what you want to call him. Whatever floats your boat. Oh, who murdered you? Did I do that? Nope. First and foremost, let's see if we can get a little bit more life. If not, we're going to go buy some stuff as well, because thankfully I'm not too worried. We're doing good damage. Um, we've got a decent amount of stamina, uh, and we were able to take out the Cleric Beast with not too much of a hassle, so. Uh, trade in Blood Echoes with passengers to buy and sell items. So we want to purchase... I want to buy a couple of those. Buy five, apparently. Because that's all that I truly need at this time. We're going to port back. We want to go back to Central Yarnum. Okay, so we have the sky down. Um, there's a couple different ways for to get to uh, Father Gascon. And this roll attack. Oh shit, did I just do that with my bare hands? Ma'am, what are you? Shoot and hit. The reason I say practice this is because this is really going to help move along the uh, Papa Glock fight. Um, so, once we get our elevator, I should have sent it back up. What was I thinking? Because we can't sit still in video games. Oh, I thought that was a padlock. It's just part of my belt. We're going to step on that. We're going to go down. So there's two ways to get across this bridge. We can go up and over, or we can take the ladder down. I almost always recommend taking the ladder down and just facing the pig. Um, less enemies overall, a little bit better experience, and you know, you won't get hit as much. So we're gonna just go tackle this little piggy pig. And we're just gonna whack. Just do some damage. Boom. Pig down. Not hard. Uh, we want to pick up the item. You drop some blood vials. We love that. Um, and we're going to go through to this area to where the entrance is to the left. Ascend the ladder. And this is going to take us, once again, right where that rock troll is hanging out. Um, where he's going to light that boulder, hurt himself, and take out the other five little guys on the bridge as well. So... Make the game work for you, you know? From there. This guy lights it. That guy hits it. I'm a whack. Oh. Sir. You are going to hurt me, aren't you? Come on. One hit down. We're going to use that. We should pull two vials off of him, raising this back up to 20. So we're going to go up these stairs. You're going to see to your right, you're going to have some of these little uh, werewolf guys. You don't have to take them out by any means before this boss fight. doesn't really do much. Um, we're going to heal. We're going to pick up. We got two more bold hunter's marks. And we got two more of the blood vials and an oil urn. So from there, right up these stairs... Okay, so right up these stairs, it's going to take us to the boss fight. Um, there's a couple different ways we're going to take on this boss. So we have our music box because that's going to stun him. And then I'm going to attach some Molotov cocktails. Um, for the most part, we can use the music box a total of three times. I like to use it um, 
twice in his human form, once in his uh, beast form, because it is going to stun him each time, which in theory you can get a couple quick attacks off. You can try to get him some viscerals, but the viscerals are going to help move the fight along really quickly, and it's going to just allow you to knock him down in health. Dismembering some beef. Beasts all over the shop. Soon. Soon. Here, we're going to use this. How did that not affect you? Oh, maybe it did. There we go. Visceral. See, it just really helps boost that fight along. We're going to use it again. Do it again. This soon he's gonna turn into a beast. Um, we want to do the music box. Why can't I get my viscerals off when he's stunned like that? Okay. Uh, it's gonna explore and go away. It is okay. We're going to still shoot. We're going to finish him off here quickly. I'll just get a couple more hits in and he is down so that's the music box method you can also cheese him by using these stairs um we got an odin tomb key nope i don't want to sit down um but i feel like this fight if you do it the strat uh, if you use this strategy it's actually very doable um because you can cheese him on the stairs or you can lure him up here um and get some good wallops in um, but for now, we are going to go up the stairs. There's just nothing to your left. So we're going to go on the right. You see this trail of blood. We're going to drop down on this house right here. And we're going to pick up the red jeweled brooch that that little girl was talking about. Um, safe to the same. That is her mother. And I think we just killed her father. So from here, we're going to touch this lantern and head back into the hunter's dream. And that is where we're going to call episode two of my playthrough of Bloodborne. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I truly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys again later. Bye.